Uh, hi guys and girls, uh, once again, it's a little old me, AD, in my shed of stuff. Uh, I thought I'd tackle the uh, the fuel tank now. Um, I have this one, obviously, the original, and I'm hoping you remember all that black, varnishy, sort of, oh, carbony sort of stuff that came out of it. Uh, it was literally half full of this coaly stuff if you cast your minds back to the earlier videos um, is the tank dead well it's difficult to say isn't it I um, until I get it clean inside or try and get it clean inside I'm not gonna know so that's my next uh, attempt I am going to at the moment it's been soaking for at least what five six weeks now with this with this oily petrol mixture in there I've added some pea shingle gravel giving it a good shake. This is the state of play so far. Let's put the lights on and a bit of additional light. This is what we're up against so far. Um, it's, you can see the oil level in there. It's kind of rusty underneath the varnish, if you see what I mean. Uh, it doesn't appear to be, there doesn't seem to be any leaks. So let's turn that light off. Save your battery for a bit. It's not leaking anywhere. So I've got the materials, I've got some washing soda crystals. Uh, I've got water, I've got a battery charger. I've got an anode in the form of a Allen key. I'm going to get rid of this oily stuff out of there, put it back into the old jerry can, sieve off the pea shingle gravel, and I've got some terps. I might run some terps around the inside of that just to sort of clean out the oil residue. Um, because the watery mixture, when you do the electrolysis, needs to be touching the metal in order for it to, to make that circuit into, and to work. If it's got an oil sheen between the water and the metal, it's not going to work, is it? So, uh, right. Uh, head. I'm going to get my head in gear now and I have a really good think about what to do next. Okay, probably get rid of the oil, terps to get rid of the oil, and then a darn good perhaps washing powder and water mixture in there, give it a bloody good shake, get it all frothed up. That should get rid of the grease oh, and oil, shouldn't it? And then uh, on with the electrolysis. So, um, wish me luck. Right, now, I've managed to get all the pea shingle out. It's a right old mess, isn't it? You can see the bits of that black residue stuff left. And there's what's left of it in the filter. That was a right ganky load of old snot that came out of there. Trust me, that's up to here now. This is as light as an absolute feather. Let's have a look inside. It's not too bad, is it? Let's throw a bit more light in there. It's tricky trying to get a camera in there. So that's the state of play of the inside of the tank. Do you know what? Down at the bottom there, they, do you know what? That's not fared too bad, has it? Let's have a look on this side. Can't really get any light in there as such. It's a real shame. I can't really focus on that bottom side. The, the right side doesn't look too bad, does it? Mind you, having said that, this is probably the worst tank I've seen on eBay. <laughs> anyway, it's going to go. It's going in the sink now. Uh, can't tell this is. Uh, I'm going to fill it with hot water. Soap suds, done good shake, and uh, just get rid of all that greasy, oily residue as best I can. Then we can start with the battery charger. So this is going to be fun, isn't it? It's either going to work uh, spectacularly or it's not going to work at all, is it? Okay, so onwards and upwards, fingers crossed, legs crossed, eyes crossed, everything crossed. Let's see how it goes.
Right, I'm just putting in some of these uh, Walmart stroke as the El Cheapo washing powder uh, tablets. Okay, so I'll literally, I think you'd use, I think you use a pair of these for a whole wash, so I'm going to put six in there. Oh, gig gokey, piddly pokey, then I'm going to fill it with water, bloody good shake, um, get rid of, and uh, see how we get on. I've just added a good 10 litres of absolutely piping hot water, I've given it a darn good shake, and uh, that's not so bad to start with, is it? That's with six of those cube blocky things in so i'm going to give it another darn good shake in a minute empty that out obviously um sensibly in a sensible place and then do it again and um, perhaps do it again after that and then we can start on with the electrolysis process right that's lot number three in there um i've disposed of it very carefully in a, in a humane way at the end of the day it's suds and water isn't it now um, right, okay, so this is what it looks like at the moment. Believe it or not, that is not bad under there. Look, you can see it's bubbling, it's effervescing. That's a long word, isn't it, for me? So it's, it's actually bubbling up. You can see that. See that bubbling away there? So that's going to... And I think I'm just going to let that sit for tonight and get everything prepped properly for tomorrow night. I don't know if it's uh, recording all right like that. But yeah, I'm going to check my battery charger out in a minute, make sure my crocodile clips are still okay, make sure it's still pumping out some voltage. Um, I'll get my soda crystals, washing crystals ready, and we will start the process tomorrow night, which will be in about two seconds for you guys. Right, okay, well, thanks for watching, and uh, let's look up for the next part. G'day, folks. Electrolysis. What is it? What does it do? To be honest, I haven't got a freaking clue. <laughs> anyway, today's the day I'm going to try and do uh, the rust removal of my CD175 uh, fuel tank. So this is what you need. A nice day because obviously the, the process produces, um, what's the chemical produces? Hydrogen. Very flammable, not in a confined space. So here is my donor tank. Now, if you've not seen the inside of my tank before, if this is the first video of mine you've ever watched, please go back to the start of the CD175 video uh, series and, and watch from the start and you will see what came out of this poor old tank. It's been sat for 40 odd years in a garden with a fuel, full tank of fuel and it wasn't good. Anyway, those of you that have seen it, let's crack on. Here we go, you need a, a, a knackered fuel tank that's all rusty. I've filled it with 11 litres, or is it 12, might be 12 litres uh, of, of water and four tablespoonfuls of this stuff, soda crystals. It's pretty much like bicarb of soda, but it's, it has the opposite effect. Uh, one battery charger, it's just a standard, uh, standard car charger. Uh, the reason I use a standard car charger is because, you know, there's intelligent ones you can get these days. Uh, they sense, and if, if you plug one of those into it, it just turns off immediately. So, a good old-fashioned, bog-standard, 12-volt car charger. Uh, you need an anode. There's my sacrificial positive anode. It's just an Allen key. I've got millions of the things, so I thought I'd use one. Uh, an old bottled bottle bottom oh no advertising cover that up cut the bottom off obviously not that one because it's still got water in it and uh, I've melted a hole through there just push that through so that's that uh, and a towel now what happens is you fill the fluid uh, uh, your, your water up I stirred the crystals into there and then poured into there otherwise you're gonna have patches this is basically, this towel is an insulator. So we put our sacrificial anode. Now I've set that height so it doesn't touch the metal inside the tank. Otherwise you're going to have a short straight away, aren't you? So that sits in there. This uh, basically insulates the anode from the metalwork of the tank. Okay, so now we've got that set. We have to put the negative 
I've wound a bolt into this tank. It's a Honda tank, obviously, and you have the uh, bit there for the for the chrome side panel to sit on. So I've bolted a bolt in there. Let's put the crocodile clip on. This is the negative. Okay, let's get that proper on there. There you go, I think that'll do. Uh, power's already on to that. I've checked it with my multimeter. So now all we have to do is to connect. And that's the reason for the towel, so no part of this can drop down and touch the tank. So let's clip on to there like so. And immediately we have reaction. Look at that. Okay, so that's basically it. There's no real wizardry involved, is there? It's not difficult. Um, just be careful with electrics. Don't try not to short anything out and blow fuses all yourself up, to be honest. Uh, there we go. I'm going to leave that for, uh, I don't know, an hour or so, a couple of hours. Have a look at it. See how it's going on. Clean around the top of the fuel cap and uh, observe and, and see how it's getting on. Right, that's about it. I can't wait. It's exciting, isn't it? Right, that's been going for about ooh, 25 minutes. Look at that. I'm just gonna turn that off for a sec. And clean a bit of that out. Ugh. Oh my God. It's a combination of um, the varnish that was in the tank, the old petrol varnish, and rust. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collect all of this and put it in there. Incredible, isn't it? Science right before your eyes. I'm just going to clean that anode up a minute. Let's <laughs> have a look at it. That's incredible, isn't it? Look at that. Well, I'm just going to pause it and as if by magic. There we go, cleaned up. Let's pop that back in said hole and plug him in again. There we go, see if we can see anything happening. It's frothy, man. Proper frothy. Yeah, it's doing something. Oh, it's really good, isn't it? I can't wait. I've never done this before, ever. I've seen videos on YouTube. People use, they've tried to clean out the fuel tanks with lemon juice and bicarbonate of soda and all sorts of, uh, yeah. Put pea shingle in there, some pea gravel in there. <clears throat> Shake it for about an hour. No thanks. That's too much like hard work, isn't it? Um, all different kinds of things. The electrolysis. Um, the anode part, if you can get the anode down in as far as you can into all of the tank uh, the better the results apparently I, I've not I've, I've not uh, done it before so I wouldn't know uh, I'm going to find that out aren't I so yeah um, I would think you'd have to put rubber pieces rubber sort of bungs on the anode so it doesn't fall down and touch the metalwork inside the tank but hey ho I'll see how this goes and then we'll take it from there hmm. Right, there's me set up. I've got my power on, power supply there. It's running. So the copper's wound around that bolt, which is on the side of the fuel tank. And there's my anode there. And look at that going already, look. It's going bonkers, isn't it? Because of the sheer size of the anode. You've got all that ampage now going through the water. And that's happening. So. Can't wait to see what goes on later on, eh? It's gonna be bonkers. Ben, I like me fags near here, had I? See you later, alligator. Right, the solution has been bubbling away for, oh, butterfly. Half an hour now, what's going on there? Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, 
that anode is an old ta table leg. It's steel, so it's mild steel. You don't don't use stainless steel because it won't work. Look at that. That's proper going, isn't it? I'm just going to leave that in there, I think, cooking away for hours and hours and see what happens. I'll check it after about five hours, I think, this evening. Up plus two. Up plus three, up plus four, up plus five, up plus seven. Yeah, all right. Groovy, baby. Well, the tank's been going away now for about two and a half hours. I'm going to have a quick look in a minute. I'm just going to have a look at the splendour that is the garden. Now, I'm intrigued by these things. They are absolutely huge. Just like huge dandelions. Old snapdragons. Bees love them. Look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? And look at these beauties. Absolutely stonking. My favourite of all. That's pretty. Oh, the pom poms. Look at that. Such colour, such beauty. Yeah, we've got lots going on here. Bees also love those. Anyway, you're not interested in me flowers, are you? <laughs> Let's get over and have a look at this tank. Right. Let's kill the power. What's it drawing first? Just under three amps. So that's good. Let's, let's kill the power. Yeah, that's dead. Right, what we got going on in here then? It's, uh, oh my flipping heck. <laughs> Let's get rid of the, the negative. Let's unplug the positive off of the big table leg anode. Let's have a look at the anode. What's it done to it? Oh my word. Look at that. That is crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. Right, let's pop that back in. Being careful not to touch the tank. Right, let's drag the tank out. Goodness me. Do you know, I haven't got my gloves on, so I'm not actually going to go any further than that. I'm going to put it back in. Send him like me in the bath last night. Oh, I've got to get my hand in there. Just got to make sure that it's not touching. There, where is it? There we go. That's better. Is that touching the anode? No, it's not. <laughs> oh, I love all this science stuff. Okay, let's plug these things back in. That goes back onto the anode, the positive, and the negative goes back onto the copper cable which bolts onto the side of the tank. Now, I'm not going to be stupid enough to put the plug in with the wet hand. Here's my dry hand. Let's plug the power back in. And that shoots back up to just under four, probably two and a half. Uh, and there we go. So that's that's two and a half hours. That is crazy, isn't it? Right, well the power pack's all been put away now. Finished. It's about half past six, so it's been going for four hours. Um, let's just take the anode out. See what it's done to that. Technically, this should now have on it. See, that's gone green. So that says to me, copper. Unless this is zinc plated, and it's not steel. Well, it must be steel because it's a table leg. Well, oh, that's proper snotty, isn't it? Look at that. It's proper barnacled up. How bizarre. Anyway, that'll be being reused tomorrow. I had to work today for half a day, so it's only really had half a day's worth of soaking, but 
Yeah, I wonder what that chemical is on there. Let's see, it's... There is the rust, which was on the tank, hopefully. That's that's the theory. That it's like, um... It's like a magnet, isn't it? The, 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 the filings go from, from the pile to the, to the magnet. So, uh, anyway, I'm just going to pause this while I lift the tank out and we'll see what... All right, well, here's the tank out of the solution. What's actually happened here? See, that's taken that paint. That paint was bubbled already. And underneath... Where's my cloth gone? Let's get a fresh one out. Underneath, look at that. Fresh metal. So... And what's it like in the middle? <sighs> it's still black. But I bought my little brush out as well. Let's give it a bit of a scrub. This stuff here is actually like sticky. Look. It's like um, sort of like wax. That's not well, yeah, waxy stuff. So if, if I could get that off first. I probably should have done that first, shouldn't I? But I've tried soaking it, haven't I, in all different stuff. I would have I thought that I might have got rid of gotten rid of it. So all these little bumps, look, they aren't rust bumps. They are literally waxy deposits. And underneath, see this is this is the petrol that turned to varnish when the when the tank gave way. The, the lid collapsed on it all those years ago and all that fuel spilled out obviously that's the top this is the bottom it all came down all over the exhaust pipes all over the frame all over, literally everything that was in its path is covered in this gooey stuff so uh, well there we go that's that's gone from rust there's a little bit of rust on there but it literally wipes off with your finger look I'm quite happy with that. It's gone black. Again, we've got all this goo up around the up around this head holder. See, everything now has turned black. That's pretty cool. I like that. Just bear in mind, people leave these things um, in the um, electrolysis tank for 24 hours plus, and it's only been in for like six. So it's a quarter of the time that it's done normally. See, it's, it's good metal underneath. It's good metal. We have a bit of shine going on there, and <laughs> I never thought I'd see that. How bizarre. Look. Look. Look at this. Let me turn it over. Look, where that had faded, that's the top coat, that's the um, candy ruby red, that's the colour for the Honda CD175. Where the sun had faded it, look, it's like it's taken off the undercoat. And underneath, look at that. Underneath, we're left with shiny metal. That's really good. I didn't know it was going to do that, to be honest. Well, I didn't know well, what's going to happen to be a completely blunt. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. Well, I didn't expect that. So it's a, almost a paint remover, isn't it? What's it like inside? I don't know. I can't see... Let's tilt it up a bit, get some sunlight in there. No, I can't really. Let me put, put this off a minute, because I can't really tell what's, what it's like inside. Right, well, I've given it a good... Why is that light on? I've given it a good bit of a scrub off with the old uh, wire brush. I've got rid of the bronze, the brass brush, because it's a bit too soft for this, uh, this, this uh, application. Yeah, have, have a good look at this, look. Literally taking the paint off. 
and that doesn't look good does it if it's like that on the outside what's it like on the inside But anyway, there we go. Um, the inside is actually looking better than it did before. Unfortunately, I have spotted a pinhole. Can you see the hole there? You can actually see the hole there, can't you? Just there. So this tank is shot, really, isn't it? It's cleaned it up so well. Look at that. It's incredible. I mean, this stuff is fixable with lead. You can, you can, you can lead that. But how much more is gone inside? I knew it was going to be bad. I didn't hold... I held, I held out zero for it to start with because of the condition of the bike when, we, when I got it. But there we go. So... Oh, do I continue and then lead that hole? Or... I'm going to continue to, I'm just going to put it on tomorrow, leave it for like 12 hours or so, take it out, give it a wire brush, let you guys see what the score is with it, and decide what to do with it from there. Looks like the donor tank's going to have to be used, <laughs> but uh, I'm trying my hardest here, yeah. I'm trying my hardest with my basic gear that I've got, and it's fun, isn't it? Alright, anyway, take care, see you soon.